Imagination here. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a funny looking robotic hopper or the Robo Hopper. This thing has these two PVC legs and a DC motor and a foam battery powering this thing to bounce like some sort of kangaroo or something. And if you want to know how to make it, let's get started. So here's all the things you're going to need to make this Robo Hopper a soldering iron. A hot glue gun with some hot glue sticks, a pair of scissors, a phone battery, an on and off switch, a DC motor and a gearbox going to an, a long axle, a bearing, any size would do, some tape, four popsicle sticks and one popsicle stick that has been cut up into little pieces like this. And then a large PVC pipe that is three inches in diameter. So the first step is we're going to take our popsicle sticks, we're going to take our first two and we're going to glue them together as shown. Once that's done you're going to put some glue on the top of these popsicle sticks and pop some other ones onto it. Get it? Pop some on. <laughs> Next, you're going to glue these smaller pieces onto it. So now that you have this, we're going to go outside and spray paint it black or whatever other color you like. So now we finished spray painting it black. Now you're going to glue these smaller popsicle stick pieces onto the bearing, just like that. And then you're going to glue the bearing to those little pieces that we glued onto the base earlier. Now we are going to mark this PVC. We're going to cut off basically one inch of PVC. So we're going to have to first mark it using a sharpie marker. This is how it should look like once you've cut it off. Now we're going to cut it in half. Now let's start gluing the treads on. Basically little strips of hot glue just like that on top of the PVC. And I just finished spray painting the black as well. This is optional, you don't really need to. Now you're going to need the base of your hopper and your DC motor with the gearbox. And you're going to glue the gearbox onto the chassis of the base of your hopper. So now we're going to start by attaching the positive end of the motor, the white wire, to the negative end of the switch. And you're going to solder it if you want to. <laughs> then you're going to take the lid off the battery, then attach the positive end of the switch to the negative end on the battery. <laughs> Now you can tape the top of the battery or the lid to the battery itself using some tape. And then you're going to hot glue the battery to the chassis. And then you're going to hot glue the switch in place. Now you are going to tape the negative end of the motor to the battery using some tape. And you 
can tape the wires to the chassis so that they don't dangle around if you want. So the next step is you're going to take these little piece of PVC pieces that I've cut off from the pipe and you're going to glue them to the axle. And once that's done, you're going to glue the legs to those pieces, just like that. <laughs> and you may not need this, but I'm going to glue this little piece of soft foam to the bottom of the chassis so that every time it jumps, it doesn't have a hard landing and it might even break something if I don't glue this little piece on. And now we're done with this robotic hopper. for this video guys and if y'all enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching guys